Hey guys, welcome to this week's workout. So you just need a kettlebell. I'm going for quite a heavy one today. So if you can go on the heavier side, that would be good. We're going to use it for the full exercise, the full workout. So what we have got is kettlebell swings. So we're obviously just letting it fall through the legs and pushing and driving up through the hips, the arms aren't really doing anything, they're just holding the kettlebell and we're keeping the shoulder blades nice and tight as well. From there we're going to do a really wide stance and we're going to point the toes out to the side and we're going to do a sumo squat. So we're just going down, back up again, down, back up. Just keeping the weight off the floor if you can, up and down. From there, drop your kettlebell down and we're going to do lunges. So hopefully we've got a bit of space, if not just do it on the spot. But we're going to kind of Lunge down nice and narrow, nice and narrow, nice and narrow, and then we're going to come back again as well. Okay, so it's just kind of a little bit of a low walk, and we're not going to stand up through the lunge, so it should really burn out those legs. From there, we are going for a single arm press, making sure you don't hit any of the sky. We're just going to go up and back down. Trying to keep the body nice and still. Alright, and then if that gets too heavy, you can go down to a lower weight or you can just switch to two arms if you need to. Then we have got upright row. So holding the back of the dumbbell here, we're going to pull it up nice and high, then down nice and slow. Elbows up nice and high, and then control it back down again. Then we're going to go down onto the floor. We're going to do a side plank. If the side plank's too hard, just drop your back foot at the hind there, okay? And all we're going to do is dip our hip down and push it back up again, high as you can, squeeze through the side and then back down. But try and do it with the two legs if you can. And any discomfort on your hand, just go onto that elbow down and then push it back up again. All right, so that's our exercises today. A lot to get through. Um, and we're trying to get it ill in 20 minutes. All right, so we shall start with our swings. We're going to work for 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest, just to get yourself into the next exercise. Okay, we're ready? All right, let's go. Through the legs and up. Really pushing through the hips. You don't need to squat down with this one. Try and keep the legs fairly straight. Just a slight little bend in them. And really powering through the glutes. And keeping that to your chest nice and high as well. 40 seconds is a good bit of time. So that's why you really want to work as hard as you can in that 40 seconds. From there. We'll get into that wide stance for the feet, turn the toes out, and we're going to go for our squats from the floor. Right, you ready? Shoulders back, push the bum towards the back of the room. There we go, back up. And really clench up cheeks together at the top, which is quite hard to do when they're wider. It does work a little bit more of the inner thigh. You might see some people doing this online with a tiptoe at the top, but it just kills my calf, so don't do it. <laughs> Much rather you're working your glutes in the back and the inner thigh than being in a weak position on those calves. Good, okay. We're gonna get ready for those lunges, so make sure you've got some space. Keeping down as low as you can. And 20 seconds also means you can get a little drink of water during this one as well. Okay. Three, two, one. Nice and narrow. Nice and narrow. And then we'll go back the way. Keep it narrow, don't stand up. And like I said, if you don't have a lot of space, you can just do this on the spot. Oh. There we go. Oh, legs. Put the 
camera turned off there. Going backwards is really tough, really challenging on the back of the legs. Good, well done. Oh, that burns. All right, kettlebell, press. I'm gonna just go on my knees, just in case I hit the roof. And also I've got a wee bit of a sore neck, so hopefully this is not as intense. Three seconds. Right, up we go, one, and back down. Control it down. And as I said, you can do two arms if you need to, and we'll just do two arms twice. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left, keep going. I know it's heavy. And if you want, you can use those legs to help you if you are standing on your feet. Okay, 20 seconds, I'll do the other side. And I'll watch me get in the way here. Okay, two seconds. Right, let's go up. Control it back down and up. And you can see with single arm you can be a little bit wobbly, which you might not notice when you do two arms. So it's the benefit of doing single arm work. And down. Good. Well done. You can see it's tough. Even I'm challenging with that one. Okay, cool. Rows. Up you get. Elbow is nice and high, so we've done a push. Now we're doing a pull. Three seconds. Ready? Up we go. Hold. And bring it down nice and slow. Squeeze up. And back down. Make sure you're in control of the weight the whole time. You're not flinging it up or yanking it up. Just a nice squeeze from the bottom all the way to the top. Up high. Just feel it starting to burn in the shoulders maybe a little bit now. And a little bit in back of the arms. Okay, we're going into that side plank. Oh. I think Joe's falling out the wall. Okay. Right, let's go. Drop the hip down and pull it back up again. Drop the hip down and pull it up. Nice and slow and steady. And kind of rotate a little onto your front, really to get that squeeze at the top. Good, okay. About 20 seconds, we're gonna do that other side. Right, it's pretty tough on the hands and on the wrists. <sighs> okay, we've got five seconds. Get ourselves set up, ready to go. And like I said, you can use that back foot if you need to for some balance. One side might feel harder than another. That's okay. I 
This is when it starts getting hard. Last few seconds, even if you need to just hold that plank, do what you can. Good, well done, perfect. Okay, quick wee drink. We're gonna go straight back into those swings. Oof. Okay. All right, let's go, swing it up. Control it down. Try and stop the kettlebell at the top and then control it on the way down. Good, well done. All right, feet nice and wide. We went to those sumos. Ready? There you go. All the way down, push your knees out, knees out to the side, towards the toes. Stick that bum out towards the back of the room. So if you're going to sit in a seat, Lovely lunges. We'll go forward for three, back for three. Should be enough space for that. Right, you ready? Five seconds. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and back. One, two, three. One. And then. Good. Oh, that was burning. Okay, for time and for the difficulty of this one, I'm just going to put it into two arms for myself. If you want to do two rounds, you can, but we've already been doing 12 minutes and I want to get in three rounds. So I'm going to go for two arms. Just like this, up over the head, back down nice and slow. Good. Well done. Okay, up we get for our upright row. <sighs> Pulling it as high as we can. 10 seconds. Oh, and I think we've got our core stuff. Yep. Right, let's go. Elbows high. Back down nice and slow. Pull it up. Remember, no yanking it up. Make sure we're squeezing. Shoulder blades together at the top as well. It's really good for getting arms pumped up this one. You can see how 
hard it is, rather than just swing it up, we're controlling it up nice and slowly. Okay, quarter plank, down we get it. Oh, arms are burning. Okay, 10 seconds and then we go again. Okay, and enjoy the rest. Stress isn't a bad thing. It means you can really give it your all in the next exercise. Let's go, drop the hips, push it back up again. And working for 40 seconds is quite long as well. So it is good to have that rest time. So you can recover for the next exercise. Remember if it gets too hard, just hold it on the side. Three, two, one. Good, well done. Okay, other the side, then we've got one more round there. We should just be in time, or maybe just a little bit over. Okay, five seconds, into your position, drop the hips down, lift them back up again. It's a real killer on the side of the tummy, this one. Okay, one more round, that's us done. Let's get our kettlebell. Up you get. We're going to go into our swings. Whew. Okay, let's go. Swing it up towards the eye height. Keep going. Good. All right, into that wide squat. Feet turned out. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, three seconds. Get that kettlebell. Down we go. And back up, knees out to the side. Two. There you go. Push through the hips, squeeze it in our thighs. Oh. Good, brilliant. Lunges, these are a bit tricky. Right, okay, 10 seconds and we're gonna go. Don't stand up for this one. Stay as low as you can. Three, two, one. Down we go, lunge. backwards and together not enough space one two three together back two three together one Together. 
Good, well done. Oof. Okay, overhead press. All right, let's do it. Up we go, control it back down. Pushing up nice and hard, all the way back to the the chin. Brilliant. Upright row. We're going to get rid of that. Back down for a plank. And that's us done. Nice and easy. Okay. Remember controlling it up nice and slow. Okay. Help we go. Control it down. Pull it high, elbows up, and down, good, well done, okay plank, we're going to go on to them, yes just making sure you're recording, for plank, since we can get this in the two, 20 minute mark, we're just going to hold it, turn it, back to the middle, okay, two seconds, let's go, nice plank, Rotate round to the side, hold, back to the middle, and other side. Trying to keep a little movement in the hips as you can. Keep moving, last exercise, 20 minutes done and dusted. That was tough, nice workout. No crazy jumping about or anything mad like that. So hopefully it's something you can do in the house and enjoy. So I hope you have a good week and I'll catch up with you soon.